Good afternoon, my fellow Redneckians. This is with Goose with Ugly Dog Lures, and we're going to have a get to know you session. Me, Kate, Cody, and Mom. So, uh, they're going to ask me a bunch of stupid questions, and I'm going to give them a bunch of stupid answers, and that's going to be the end of it. Did you just so. call my questions stupid? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Okay. And don't call me K again. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Everybody knows the answer to that. Orange. Or camo. No, orange. <laughs> and not a bright fluorescent orange like a morning sunrise orange. Oh my goodness. Not neon orange? No. <clears throat> do you collect anything? Absolutely I do. And everybody that knows me knows what I collect. I collect antique fishing lures. I collect hand painted fishing lures. So. So going into that, what's your most prized possession? My most prized possession is my children. Mm. Oh. That's the truth. But I wouldn't wouldn't trade them for anything. At this point, next week I may have a different opinion. But <laughs> this week, that's what it is. What's your greatest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment. Well, let's see here. Putting morals into my children. That's a pretty good accomplishment. You don't see that much anymore. No. So. Common sense. Common sense. That's another accomplishment. Common sense ain't common. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday? Halloweener. Yep. Okay, or, what is your best childhood memory? Uh, fishing with my father. It's a pretty good memory. What skill would you most like to learn? What skill would I most like to learn? How to be a rich man. <laughs> Instead of being so damn pretty. Hell yeah. <laughs> Where's the coolest place you've ever traveled? The coolest place I've ever traveled. I am going to have to say that that's going to be Nassau in the Bahamas. How come I didn't get to go there? When did you go there? I went there when I was 19 years old, babe. When I worked for High Pro Feeds, we won a free trip over there. Because we were the top salesmen in the country. So I've been to Nassau, home of the eight dollar Coke in nineteen hundred and eighty four. Wow. So. What is the one thing that instantly makes your day better? Well, I would have to answer that as coffee. <laughs> I thought it was talking to me. Uh let me let me let me, let me lead you folks down this road. I get up way before the chickens. Not me. Take my shower, make my coffee, and go to work. It's not very often that I ever even speak to her on the way out the door because <laughs> when I wake her, it's like waking a volcano of ugly stuff that comes right at me, so I just leave. So. I remember that. Mm -hmm. But I do, I do every morning tell her I love you. I'll see you later. Yes, you do. Oh. I'm not pretty in the morning either. <laughs> and I'm a morning person because I'll get up and have my coffee and I'll go singing around the house and I throw pillows out of Yeah, time. and <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest risk you've ever taken? The biggest risk I've ever taken. Eating Taco Bell and not being more than ten miles from the house. <laughs> Most ridiculous nightmare you've ever had. Well, I don't know if you classify it as a nightmare or just a dream or a happy dream, but 
I took Herbie Gator fishing. Which is perfect for this. If your pet could talk, what do you think they would say about you? He would give me the old reel it up. I totally believe that. He would. <laughs> uh huh. Me and Herbie don't get along very well. He's just little and you, hard to, you, it's hard for you to see him. <laughs> what is your useless talent? Useless talent. That's a very hard one. I don't know that I have any talents. I don't know. I really have no clue well, how to answer that question. I have one. Huh. He is very talented at embarrassing anyone he chooses to. Since when is that useless though? It's useless on their half, but it's funny <laughs> on mine. <laughs> So. Yeah, it's useful for him. I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? The ability to talk to animals. So he could chew you out all the time. So I could cuss Herbie out in his own language. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> what would your drag queen name be? Chewy.com. <laughs> Yes. Which one? I don't know. I've met the Oak Ridge Boys, George Strait, Terry Bradshaw, Fran Tarkington. Which one do y'all want to hear about? Whichever one you like interacting with the best. Well, it wasn't really nothing about interacting. Is that was their personal security. Right. So. But the Oak Ridge Boys, great, good bunch of guys. Terry Bradshaw, great, great man. He was a quarterback for the Steelers. Fran Tarkington, they actually come recruiting at my high school. And uh, they were great guys. Y'all wouldn't think it today, knowing me, how I am today, but Melissa can tell you, Katie will tell you, I had scholarships to play college ball. I was... I remember watching you play football out in the local field. Yeah. You loved it. What would your warning label say? Okay, I would unzip my coat like this and it would have a big caution across here and it would say gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> hey Caitlin, pull my finger. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> What is the best Halloween costume you ever wore? Uh, let's see, I put a tater in my pocket and went as a dictator. That was pretty good, yeah. <laughs> what is the most outrageous lie you told your child? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> I think there's others. What is the dumbest way you've injured yourself? Playing football? Pretty dumb. It still haunts me today. Where did you grow up? Where did I grow up? In Galveston and Bryan, Texas. I still hadn't grown up, so. If you could go back and tell your five-year-old self one thing, what would it be? Invest in Apple. <laughs> okay. You don't even use Apple. I don't care. I would still invest in it. <laughs> Microsoft, Apple, all of that. Yeah. What kind of elderly person do you want to be? A cranky one. I'm already elderly. So... <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this one out. What is your favorite website? My favorite website? Honestly? 
I like to go and look at wildlife websites and see the different wildlife paintings and stuff like that. Because I certainly don't like to go to the other one that you're thinking about, Miss Pervert Pants. <laughs> Not what I was thinking you were going to say. So. I like to see nature. Nature is, I love nature. And I live in a desert. And it's got its pretty points, but I would a lot rather be in the trees. So. What's your favorite movie? What is my favorite movie? Man. That's a crazy one, too. I like so many of them. But I'm going to say anything with John Wayne in it. Okay. When Cody was a kid, I watched Hatari every day. Do you remember? Every day. He wore that dang DVD out. Sure it wasn't a VHS? It was, we had both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... What is the best idea you've ever had for a business? Well, I don't know. About that. I love to do the lures, but I also love farming. I love cattle, heavy equipment. So. I really don't know what I would, how to answer that. I always like to see you in the garden. Yeah, I raised some mean gardens, huh, baby? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do that again this year. Heck yeah. So. If you won the lottery, what would you do first? Disappear. First? <laughs> I'd go get my check and disappear. <laughs> I'd buy my own island. The Island of Goose. Goose Biddle. Yep, international waters. That's what I do. <clears throat> do you have any tattoos? Oh, I should have asked you that question. Of course not. I would never tattoo my body. Okay. Yeah, I have several. Fessing to get several more. So, I love tattoos. Unfortunately, yes. I have two brothers, or three brothers, and two sisters. You got any other questions for me, Miss Question Lady? If you could choose a new name, what would it be? Rasputia. <laughs> I got one. Okay, babe. What's your favorite fish? My favorite fish is a rooster fish. What's your favorite freshwater fish? Bass. There you go. What is your dream boat? My dream boat? The one that the motor stays running on. <laughs> Sorry, every motor needs to be <laughs> uh, Center console. And I would probably go with a Boston Whaler. Just because the way they're set up. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, let's have it, Miss Green a lot. What's your favorite toy? <laughs> What's my favorite what? The toy. <laughs> uh, I have a monster truck around here somewhere. <clears throat> you've ever received well trust in your fellow man that's probably the worst advice I've ever received always trust in yourself the fellow man's out to get you there's a quote I love 
more than anything. There's a man who's put, and he, he stays in his proper place. And there's, a man, there's, there's two men in the world and only two. The one who stays put in his proper place and the other one with his foot and the other one's face. Mm-hmm. Yep. What was your first job? Farming. Farming. I already answered, do you work better in the morning or night? Definitely in the morning. Now, is that all the questions you got for me? I hope they got to know me a little better. I don't know. I got 200. I'm still going to do it. Oh, Lord. Um, if money was no issue, what would you do with your time? I would load up, Bob. And I would go paint lures on every lake in the United States, no matter how big, how small. If I seen water, I'd stop and paint something. You're planning to do that anyway, though. At some point, yeah. If there was a group of people that you had unlimited resources to help, who would you help? The veterans. Homeless veterans, disabled veterans, that's who I would help. Is there a specific reason why? Because a lot of them gave all and they deserve something back. I do what I can now, which I hope that it grows. But that's, that's my genre, it's my veterans. And kids. I've got like 17 or 18 kids. So I can't keep count of them no more. So me and mom actually, uh, we'd go to auctions and buy little fishing poles, Zebcos and stuff. And I'd bring them out here and rebuild them. And we take them and give them to underprivileged children. We still do that from time to time. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Maybe a lot of things about this old fart you don't know. Certainly didn't know you went to the south. <laughs> Here's one. What are your pet peeves? My pet peeves. Ignorance. Just that one, that's all? No. People that have that holier than thou attitude when they're not is something that bothers me a lot. We've discussed this at length in the last few days, hadn't we, honey? So, <laughs> but I don't like that attitude. No one man is better than another man. No one woman is better than another woman. So we all walk on two feet and we all bleed red. So that makes us equals. Well, we all end up in the ground. Not me. I ain't going in the ground. I'd like to see your, well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. We all have a limited time. Yeah, we all have a limited time here, for sure. So here's a really good one with that. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Pushing up daisies. <laughs> in 10 years. Uh, let's see. I see myself in the pickup, Bob behind us, going wherever Melissa tells me to because I'll be so senile by then I won't know where I'm at. So. Good answer. <laughs> what is your worst habit? My worst habit? I don't know. I have uh, jitters. I get hollered at every time I sit down somewhere and start moving my leg. Will you stop that? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, what is one fact that few people know about you? One fact? Mm -hmm. I've survived being shot twice. I only did it once. You've so, been stabbed with a fork? 
I've been stabbed with a knife. You know, there's all them scars right there, honey. That's where I was fighting in a bar and they stabbed me. I got a hammer stuck in my head, a call hammer. So, I I, I'm a survivor, of, hun. One of your siblings got you with a fork. No, I got stabbed with a fork. He got stabbed with a knife and a hammer. Ah. <laughs> what is the best pickup line you know? Get in the truck, woman. <laughs> Nowadays, yeah. <laughs> What is your worst habit? I'm liking this list. <laughs> My worst habit. Payday candy bars. Oh, yum. I got one. What are your nicknames for your family? For my family? Mm -hmm. Bob. Mom is Bob. Bob. Monkey Turd. Monkey Turd is me. And Tank. Tank is Bubba. Yep. And I, I like the monkey turd. I, I wear that one with endearment. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to be done with this list because some of these questions are, oh my gosh, I'm going to get myself in trouble if I asked you. Well, you know I'm going to ask you the same questions. You're going to hand me that phone with all the lists, so what would we do you? Oh, sorry. I just closed that. <laughs> you mean to make some up? <laughs> just that might be that scarier. List. <laughs> okay, so everybody, this concludes your get to know a little bit about Charlie, Goose, Chuck, Charles, Ray, Ray, Charles Way Widener, <laughs> Bob spelled backwards. So I hope y'all have a blessed one. And Mel's up next, and I am gonna, not gonna hold back. So have a good one, folks.